Hello and welcome back to Planet Crafter. We are at 500, almost 600 TI on the terraforming index. So last time we were crash landing and building our first small base over here. Just to recap uh, what's going going on right now. So that's where we crash landed. This is our small base. And yeah, we started to terraform a little bit. So what's going to happen today? I've got two things I really want to do. Uh, I might want to move my base because I have found a spot which is way better. Honestly, it's way better. And uh, yeah, we want to crank up this terraforming being a bit faster. So let's get going, I would say. Uh, ha, 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 ha. But first, I kind of need to eat and drink something because this is not good. Uh, there's some food. Let's see if we have some water here. We don't even have water. Okay, so I'll get some ice. We need some ice. Every piece of ice gives you one water capsule. That's great. And later you can build some water collectors. However, we are not there yet, um, obviously, because I don't see any water or rain right now. Not even the blue sky. But we're going there. Yes. Low hydration level. There we go. So let's see here if we can find the place where I actually want to build something. But first, let's drop some stuff in here because I don't need this. Uh, I might need this. That should be okay. All right. Uh, I want to build my base. I think it was somewhere over here. Oh, sorry for that little lag. That was not you. Um, is it here? Over there. That's the place where I want to build my base. So I need some iron. And after that, we will need to move everything, obviously. So what do I need? Silicon. More iron. Because look at this spot. This is absolutely beautiful. It's plain. It's flat. I love it. I do really love the space. Let's go over here. We need to hurry up a little bit, I think. Though I do have an oxygen capsule, just in case. All right. Let's start to build the first module. Uh, which is going to be placed just on here. Oh. I think that should be okay. Uh, it's actually not okay. Let's move a little bit to the back. Yeah, exactly like this. And we need to find another iron, then I can actually hop into my base. At the moment, breathing is a little bit difficult. That's silicon. That's even more silicon. Silicon? That looks, that looks very much like iron. There we go. Take that silicon with us, though. And then obviously we need to move the entire base. Which shouldn't be that difficult. So let's open the door. See, now we can breathe over here. Let's go back. And let's bring our base over. All right, we are back. <laughs> And, um, well, not entirely back, but I'm heading to the new base. I stripped basically everything out of the other base. I left the living compartments, though, you know, 
as a little breathing area just in case and yeah uh things have changed a little bit over here and i'll show you in a second look at that that looks a bit more better you know, not like just collapsing so we've got a little a very little command center here um but fulfill our needs for now i can see the surrounding out there we've got uh, two of these veggie tubes hope we can build a few more soon um because i don't think that our terraforming is going fast enough or look at the heat we could get another heater and we even have the material for that so let's throw a new heater in there um obviously no power okay so i will need some ice though no i have a water bottle but i will need some ice anyway uh, so let's go on the search for some iron as we have solar panels now let's check what we need for solar panels probably iron yeah iron silicon and cobalt i would say we are going to switch over to solar panels i think they give more more energy 6.5 per second and the wind turbines only 1.2 seconds so i think that's the plan or as we would say this is the way okay we got meteors yeah this happens when we are stripping down too many Whoa. too many resources but we got our power restored for now uh which i've got the t2 oxygen tag t1 agility boost and the tier 2 exoskeleton i can't do anything much more except for the backpack i think we should go for a new backpack shouldn't we there we go tier 2 backpack we got some more storage and let's dump all the food we have in here and we do actually have something for another veggie tube iron magnesium where are you got some iron do i have magnesium i do not have magnesium oh shame on me please don't hit me on the head please don't hit me on the head please don't hit me thank you There we go, with the tube. Let's do the oxygen thing. I think oxygen oh, yeah, could do more, but it's it's doing all right for now. I think we should plunder a uh, shipwreck for now. So let's take that oxygen capsule with us. And I think we would be good if we just take some water in case. Let's head over there. Okay, we've arrived the shipwreck. Let's see what's in there. And that's why we need the torch. Because it's dark. Super dark in here. Let's see what we can find in here. Go yeah, there. There's a crate. Not much of valuable stuff. I can't find anyone else. interesting seems to be a little more larger that ship a lot of debris in here I'm not I'm not going upstairs now I'm going to salvage the lower part of the ship first we have here that's good for oxygen there's another path the upstairs we need um, speaking of oxygen we need to breathe at some point 
I don't want to waste my oxygen capsule right now. That's more thought for an emergency. And you know what I'm going to build? I'm going to build a little storage crate in here. So I do not have to run inside every time I want to get something and store some stuff in so uh, outside here. Okay, we were... Yeah, these two. Let's see. Come on, give me, give me something valuable. Something more valuable. I cannot open you. To open these, I need a microchip I don't have yet. Hello? Speaking of microchips. Some asteroids outside. Looks like a bridge. I don't see anything of value in there. It's not for now. Um, that's the place where we came from. And I think we should head back. Another microchip. I'll take that. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong direction. Okay, one more run, I would say. Because there were also other stairs to get up. Yeah. Let's see what we can find if we get up there. There are some crates. I cannot open this, I think. No. At least not now. Aluminum. Iridium, that's good. Can use that. Hard to get. Open space locker, no. Don't need that for now. I think that's it. That's more or less it. Obviously, there's a lot more stuff in here and a lot more material we can we can gather but for now looks as if we are fine we got a few blueprints which is good and some valuable material like i'm more interested in all these seeds right now Yep, I think we can be happy. Let's run back. Okay, back home, sweet home. First, what we're doing is uh, we have unlocked already um, plenty of new tech. For example, the tier 2 veggie tube, which we can build. Just a minute. Um, I think we're going to replace the three uh, tier 1s with that. Uh, we also have the indoor ladder. And the tier 2 backpack, which we'll also be interested in. So let's see what we have then. Microchips. The microchips give us mining speed. And the tier 1 agility boost. Huh. Nothing I really need. But thank you very much. It was a nice attempt. Silicon. We need silicon. Do we have silicon? Probably not. Oh, we have. Let's build a bigger backpack. And let's replace these 
I'm going to leave the limo seats in here. Take some silicon. Thank you. That's our first new Vetli team. All the Vetlis. All the Vetlis. And what do we need? More ice. Probably going to regret this power's going out. No, it's not out yet. And for another one, we need two ice and one silicon. That one is done. Oh, let's see our stats. Look, oxygen, 7.1 ppq per second. I think that's not too bad. We could produce more heat. We could produce more pressure. When do we get another heat generator? At 1.85 ppt. So we're almost there. Then we can crank this up a little bit. Heat this up. Uh, we probably need some solar panels, though. Cobalt, silicon. Cobalt, cobalt. No silicon, no silicon. So cobalt, silicon, and iron is uh, the recipe we need here. And there's the tier, tier 2 heater. What do we need for this one? Uh, plenty of iridium, titanium, and aluminum. And here's the problem. Uh, so in the usual standard starting location, there is an iridium mine. However, I don't know where an iridium place is here. So this could be a little problematic. But what we can do, we can take these away and should give us enough. Enough. Didn't I bring the entire aluminum with me? Jesus Christ. Stupid me. Okay, let's place these again. And looks like we need to do a few runs for material. Desert. Final frontier. We are in the middle of nowhere. No clue what we're doing right here. Uh, we need to drink something. And we need to eat something. We also need the food grower sooner or later. What do I need for the food grower? We need way more oxygen. But we're in a good way. I would believe. So what we could do next is another drill. Or maybe two drills. Because this is going way too slow. Remove that magnesium. It's annoying. There we go. This is how we generate pressure. We should even have enough for another heater. Iron. So here we're going. Three heaters, three veggie tubes, and our wonderful drills outside there. And now it's time for another cargo run. Okay, we're back at the wreck and I want to check out what's up there. If I can somehow get up the dune. Pretty difficult. 
down downwards would be easier and i wonder what all of that over there is because all of this looks very much burned oh now it all got red now the red color is gone it's all changing colors all of a sudden grab a silicon on the way and there are absolutely no resources here nearby tier 2 drill probably need some aluminum for that I don't know what this is constantly changing colors absolutely no resources in that area mysterious wait is that Oh, that looks like iridium. Jackpot. That's a jackpot. No, obsidian. That's obsidian. Okay. Also interesting. That's a lava area. Okay, nice. And that's a lava area over here. That's iridium over there. from my last playthrough I've never been in this area that looks extremely cool and there could be there could in fact be aluminum over there problem is I don't know where to get there and how to get up here again Don't want to be stranded over there. What are you? You're just cobalt, right? You're cobalt, yeah. Okay, we are almost out of water. Fortunately, we need to head back. We left out all our water. I'll see if we can find the way back. That already helped. We know what's out there. That's good. Still wanted to check what's up here on the on the shipwreck. And then we'll head down, grab all the cargo we can get, all the material, and head back to base. I might need a little crafty thingy out here just in case there's nothing here no that's just debris from from the main rack nothing to get here i think everything is in there let's see if we can grab some loon minimum before we before we go because that's why we actually came here so let's see do you have any? No. Something in here. At least I thought I saw something here in the crates. Look, there's a water bottle. 
get some stress of us. No. That's just stuff I mostly don't really care for right now. Because all that material in the ship, I can I can also find it in other places. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Only one, but... Let's quickly... More oxygen. we do a tier 2 drill easy to build and we'll do that solar panels we obviously need cobalt and silicon for this and hopefully we will get the food grow in time before our regular food runs out oh, let's go what next uh, we got the new screen the progress screen, which we need silicon and cobalt for. We still have a cobalt somewhere. No. All right. Progress screen. Progress screen. A screen. What? Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Silicon, where are you? New solar panel for our energy park over here. There we go. Oh, restored. So let's see what our screen is saying. Terraforming stage is 8.35% until the blue sky. So what do we want to do next? We do still have some seeds. I would suggest to build uh, three more of these tubes. So we need to gather ice and magnesium. Obviously also silicon and iron. We should have a good amount of iron right now. Also going to do we still want to do the tier 2 heaters I think we're going to come to an end for this episode. Uh, we have done plenty. So the base is getting a little bit too small. We have three of these large heaters. Careful, don't burn yourself. 
we've got six of these veggie tubes just running at full speed and we have four tier two drills out there we have managed to just you know crank up the speed of where we are terraforming into a blue sky see how this is rising and we should be there at the blue sky in no time what's going to be next in the next episode we need to build the communication antenna to progress in the story um, and also the transmission screen we have uh, new oxygen tanks for example we need to gather more resources however i don't know if i'm going to do the resource collection all the resource collection while recording i don't know it could be pretty much boring for you all of you so when we see us the next time probably the kti the terraforming index might be a little bit opt is that the word how you say it at least it should be closer to, to the 175 we will need however until then thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i hope it wasn't too boring please give me some feedback or drop something in the comments below if you like and if you want to join the discord link is in the description below until then see you there on how do we call this planet on Arrakis Dune desert planet becoming a not so desert planet. Bye, take care, thanks for watching.